New details this morning on a deadly big cat attack in Oregon. A 36-year-old mother, described as an experienced worker, killed at a wildcat wild sanctuary by one of the dozens of cats on the property. ABC's Clayton Sandell has that story for us. This morning, investigators are searching for answers, wanting to know how the head keeper at this wild animal sanctuary became a victim of the big cat she was trying to help. It's dark. Uh, this is a pretty remote area here. 36-year-old Renee Radzwan Chapman was found dead Saturday night at Wildcat Haven so Sanctuary in Sherwood, Oregon. Authorities believe she was attacked by a cougar like this one. Radzwan Chapman, seen here in 2011, worked at the sanctuary for eight years. She had a five-month-old daughter and worked at the sanctuary with her husband, Aaron, caring for about 60 cats that once were pets. Bobcats, servals, lynx. Um, we actually just got two tigers. Neglected and abandoned when they grew into full-size predators. I don't think people realize how many cats are in captivity. Um, how many people own them in backyards. Few details have been released about the attack, but overnight, the sanctuary suggested Radzwan Chapman may not have followed safety protocols. Wildcat Haven says they have a strict policy requiring two qualified staff members working together with dangerous animals. But the sanctuary says Radzwan Chapman was alone in the enclosure with the cats. Her family says she brought 20 years of experience to her job, garnering the utmost respect from her peers. Although we love them for who they are, we always remember exactly what they are, which is a wild animal. It's just the latest fatal wild animal attack. Just last March, 24-year-old Diana Hansen was killed when a lion got free from its cage at a wildlife park near Fresno, California. The person is still in the enclosure with the lion. The sanctuary says none of its cats escaped in Saturday's attack, but how one got close enough to kill is still a mystery. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.